What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So recently I've been hearing a lot of negativity and criticism against the brand new tech gen Emba from Global's latest Duo Dokkan Fest with AGL PyCon, right? And the funny thing is, the conversation around the PyCon has almost been the exact opposite. Like people have been heaping praise on the PyCon, saying how good he is for all the events in the game, how useful he can be, all that stuff. And I think it's very justified because I do think AGL PyCon is a very good unit. But is the Janemba as bad as some people make him out to be? Is he as trash as some people say? Is he deserving of all the, you know, criticism and hate that he's been getting? That is a question we're going to try to answer in this video today. I've got my 69% Janemba here. He's got level 1 links across the board and also no skill orbs. So he's basically naked, if you will. And we're going to jump into the Legendary Goku event with this Terrifying Conqueror slash Transformation Boost team to, you know, get a good feel for just how good, how impressive, or maybe how garbage this unit is. Okay, so on the first rotation, he's linked up with the Fizz Final Form Frieza. We've got support from the Kid Buu. He's starting off with 121,770 defense, which is not bad at all because he also guards against all attacks and he gets, um, or he gives extreme class allies key plus two and attack and defense plus 30% with four or more type key spheres obtained. Obviously, he gets that boost himself as well. And he also gets 30% more damage reduction with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So as much as we can, we are gonna try to give him his full passive on every single turn. It is gonna be hard though because you know, you need at least six orbs, and at least two of those have to be Rainbow Key Spheres. So it's not going to be super consistent. But with that said, we did get lucky here. We have two Rainbow Key Spheres and one, two, three, four, five, six Type Key Spheres. So that is going to be a full passive. And once we pop this, you can see that the uh, Frieza and Boo both got more key and also some more attack, right? So uh, yeah, looking good, 135,299 defense now. So defense really shouldn't be much of an issue. Let's see what his attack stat is gonna be though with the 50% support and also the extra 30% from his passive. Well, at least he got a crit. <laughs> Luckily he got a crit, cause that was gonna be pretty sad. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think after that one attack, you can probably get a good feel for why some people are not overly impressed with this unit. And obviously, attack isn't everything, right? Damage isn't everything, but just based off of, you know, some of the numbers we've been seeing recently, you know, from new Dokkan Fest units. Uh, just over 2 million with a 50% support and with your full passive, which is not easy to get, is underwhelming, I think is the right word, right? Like, just from a purely offensive perspective, before he transforms into uh, Super Janemba, he doesn't do much damage. He really does not hit that hard. Now, if he was at max links, you know, like, especially level 10 big bad bosses, with the extra 25% attack and defense, then of course he would have hit quite a bit harder. You know, that probably would have been like 2.5 million or something like that. But um, not everyone's going to be able, you know, to get their Janemba to max links for a long time. So I don't think it's like super realistic to showcase him with max links all the time, or rather units with max links all the time. Um, so yeah, 2 million, just over 2 million with the 50% support this turn. We don't have any support. We do have him linked up though with his best linking partner, which is the Int Janemba. And as you can see, defense goes down to 99,220. And uh, here comes one of the major issues with this unit, the key. He doesn't have any key links before he transforms, guys. He has not a single key link. Um, he has a lot of attack links, which is nice. But if you can't get the super off, then what's the point, right? So. Let me see how we can play this. Um, if I drop this, then we can probably get... 
Uh, hold on, let me think about this for a second. So we're gonna put the int Janemba in front first. And maybe if I give, I don't think it's gonna work actually. So I was thinking I could give this to the int one. Uh, that's not quite enough. It's not quite enough. If we had, if we had one more Fizz Key Sphere, then we could have gotten his passive off, right? And, uh, you know, gotten the two more key from his support passive. But it didn't quite work out. I might have messed up, I'm not really sure, but either way, like, this is kind of the dilemma, you know, I have with this unit. Like, on the one hand, he's a very good tank. He is a really good tank. Defensively, very impressive. His damage, not the greatest, but he does have the support and everything. Um... But, like, his... Your ability to get his super attack off is pretty inconsistent. Okay, that is, like, one of the main criticisms, I guess, one of the main knocks against him is the fact that without any key links, you're relying on your ability to get four or more type key spheres every single turn, right? And that's just not realistic unless you have an orb changer on the team, which we don't right now. But if you bring an orb changer, it will be easier but the issue with him also is that he's not in a lot of categories he's only in three categories so when it comes to team building he's also kind of limited um so we're starting to kind of see like some of the problems with this guy right now on top of that another issue is the fact that you know while he does get key links after he transforms um it's kind of hard to get the transformation off right his active skill is one of the you know, less ideal active skill conditions, which is to get hit a certain number of times. And for him, it's can be activated after the character receives attack five or more times in battle once only. Now, I haven't counted how many times he did get hit, but luckily we do have a lot of attacks here. So we can actually, there, yeah, after this turn, we will be able to get the uh, transformation. But as you can see, we're already, we're already on turn five. It's gonna be turn seven by the time we can actually pop this. So let's see what we can do here. This is nice, okay, this is nice. We've got five type keys, or four type key spheres here. We got five here. Um, they're both the same. We can't get two rainbow key spheres though, so we can't get the additional damage reduction, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal either way. So uh, yeah, let's give these to him. And then we'll give these to the Ingenemba. And here we go. Let's check out this damage. We got the 30% support from Cooler. We're getting supered. We do have guard against all attacks. Okay, took 22,000 there. It's not bad. And <laughs> we're not even reaching 2 million for this attack, man. Oh, man. His damage is really sad, guys. Uh, there's not much I can say. Like, his damage is just... It's kind of abysmal. It's kind of abysmal. I mean, there are so many free-to-play units in this game that can hit harder on turn one. And there are obviously many, many more Dokkan Fest units out there that can hit much harder. I mean, I'm talking like, uh, I mean, what do you want to say? Like, even this Frieza. I mean, after this Frieza gets hit, the uh, Fizz Frieza. I mean, why am I saying even Frieza? No, this Frieza is good. But what's another unit that like, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you know, like turn one doing three, four million. Um, I'm, I'm blanking right now, to be honest, man. Cooler, obviously some good damage, even as a support, even as mainly a support, he's doing some good damage. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like Janemba for how new he is. You know, I don't even, I don't even think that's a good comparison because like Cooler is kind of old too, right? And if you don't have big bad bosses on the first turn, he doesn't hit that hard. But my point is, where our expectations for new units have been getting higher and higher, right? And for the most part, yo, new Dokkan Fest units, new LRs have been getting more and more OP. So the fact that we are now getting, you know, these new dual Dokkan Fest units at this point that are doing damage this low, is just like a little bit, a little bit jarring, right? It's, it's, it's a little bit surprising when you see the, those numbers. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the damage. You guys can, you know, have your own opinions about that. But uh, we are able to pop the active skill now. So let's go for that. Boom. Here we go. Super Janemba on the way. This active skill is about to 
gross me out just a little bit. I mean, I love Janemba, but every time I see this, I wanna, I wanna gag a little bit. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. The squirmy stuff, the squirmy things, just, just don't work for me. Okay, so perfect. Now, as you can see, the key is much better. Okay, and uh, we also have more key links because of the int Super Janemba. Um, the only one we're missing, of course, is Big Bad Bosses, which hopefully we can get sooner than later. And we got the 50% support from Kid Boo. We have 139,000 defense. Things are looking good. Let's give him three key spheres. Oh, by the way, he does get an additional uh, 30, no, sorry, 40% attack with three or more fizz. Sorry, man, I can't read right now. Uh, with three or more type key spheres obtained. So we got three there, so that should give us 40% more attack. And he also gets a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, with a rainbow key sphere obtained. We didn't get that there, but it's not a big deal because there's no attacks, so we're good to go. Let's see what the super Janemba looks like, damage wise. Okay, so that's with. That, that's with the extra 40% attack, right? Interesting. Interesting. Now, Inch Janemba didn't look that impressive there either, but keep in mind that he didn't actually take an attack, so he didn't get his additional damage uh, or attack boost there. If he had, then the Inch Janemba actually would have hit harder than the Tech Janemba. Um, yeah, I mean, just a little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing. Like, after you pop the active skill, like, considering how hard sometimes it can be to get the active skill, you would expect the Tech Janemba to really do some pretty impressive damage, right? But he doesn't quite do that. You know, he's, he's just not quite as impressive as you would expect damage-wise. Now, the uh, high chance to dodge, of course, can be pretty clutch, but you still need to get at least one rainbow key sphere, which you can't always achieve. Um, if that was unconditional, I think I would have been a little bit more okay with the lack of, you know, impressive damage. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like when, when I first saw this unit on paper, when I first saw the details on paper, I was like, he looks good. He looks good. And I still stand by that. I don't think he's a bad unit by any means. Like defensively, he, can help you a ton on extreme super battle road, super battle road, events like this too, you know, infinite dragon ball history, all that stuff, but man, it's just the fact that like, uh, it, he could be so much more, you know, he could be so much more, and he just has some issues that other Dokkan Fest units don't really have to deal with, so yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say he's trash, but I would say if I was someone who like it was just tuning into this video to like check out what Janembo is capable of for the first time. Look at that, 3.8 million. Oh my god. That was nice. Okay, so let's see what our Janemba can do. Or not our Janemba, the new Janemba can do. 3 million. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't need to say much about that. Um, what was I talking about again? Um, I forgot. I forgot. Either way, yeah, offensively, I think I was expecting a little bit more. Defensively, uh, he, he, he's got, like, a lot to, to like defensively for sure. You know what? Let's use a Ghost Usher this turn because I don't really trust some of the uh, supports here. So let's just make sure we get to the next turn. But, um, oh, I remember what I was saying now. Okay, so... Yeah, while he has a lot of good going for him, he has a lot of positives. I think the main issue with him is that there there are just a lot of problems you have to deal with that you don't have to deal with with other Dokkan Fest units, right? Like, you know, to get the transformation, to get his active skill is kind of a hassle. Before he transforms, it's really hard to super sometimes. I mean, you have to kind of depend on good RNG. And even when you get his full passive, I mean, he's, he's, he's barely really doing much damage. And, uh, you know, if you don't get lucky, you're just not getting a super off, which is unacceptable, I would say. Like, struggling that hard to get a super attack, I think, is actually... You, you could say it's unacceptable for a unit 
um, a new unit these days, right? Like, I don't know what, what they were thinking in not giving him any key links before transforming, and also not giving him any key in general. Oh, there we go, we got the got the dodge, yeah. Not giving him any key in general, like, without a condition. Like, he does get key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30% for the rotation. Oh, my bad. Um, you know, like, if you get the 4-type key spheres, but the 4-type key spheres don't always, aren't always there. They're not always available, especially when you come to, like, uh, you know, Super Battle Road or Extreme Super Battle Road, where, like, you don't necessarily want to bring any orb-changing items. You don't necessarily want to bring, like, a orb changer unit oh there's the additional nice i like that we got an additional attack um but you guys you guys understand what i'm trying to say right like it's just i'm not saying he's bad and as you see his tanking is very good like he, he he's a great tank it's just the fact that like yo he could he could have less problems less headaches to deal with and that would have made him a much more enjoyable unit to use that's all i'm trying to say that's literally like all I'm trying to say. So I, I I don't want this to be taken as like a Janemba bashing video, okay? But his design is is questionable. <laughs> I think that's the right way to put it. His design was questionable. I think they made some mistakes in his design. I think they w they should have made his active skill easier to get. They should have made it easier for him to super, you know, pre transformation. And honestly, I think he should have had more attack, man. I think he should have gotten a bigger attack boost on his passive, both pre and post transformation. Um, and you know, like the, the whole lack of categories thing is also kind of annoying, but it is just the thing with Janemba. He's just, he doesn't fit in a lot of categories at the moment. Um, so it is what it is. Hopefully he gets more categories in the future. Hopefully they make more categories in the future that Janemba can fit into. But right now on global, he's only on three categories on JP, uh, maybe four, possibly. I'm not really sure right now, but uh, either way, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just not the most ideal situation um, for this guy. So now we can, oh, okay, we can get three type key spheres there, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna probably make this the last, I mean, Kid Boo is gonna get us killed, actually. Yeah, Kid Boo's gonna get us killed, it is what it is, that's gonna be the showcase, guys. Uh, final verdict, Janemba, ooh, took 16k there, ouch. That was not awesome. Um, Janemba, good tank, great defensively, offensively, lackluster, I would say. He does get more defense after he supers, though. Lackluster, I would say. And, um, I mean, he could have been better. He's not terrible, though. I would say he's kind of... Mm, I don't want to call him mid. I don't want to call him mid. I would say he's like kind of between mid and good. Like somewhere in the top 20 range, I, I, I guess. Like that that's kind of where I would put him. I wouldn't say he's 20th. He's not 20th. He's above that. But like, I, don't, I wouldn't call him top 10. I mean, that's just my opinion. You guys might have different opinions after you used him maybe after he helped you clear the uh you know extreme super bad road stage the super tech one or something like that but i did i just find that he has yeah too many flaws and uh it's just like too hard to get him to perform optimally sometimes for me to really enjoy using him that much um i do love janemba he he's definitely one of my favorite villains in the entire franchise but uh, I feel like they kind of did him dirty, just a little bit, just a little bit. I think they did him a little bit dirty with this card. I think the design could have been just significantly better, and um, it's it's kind of sad because like I was really looking forward to a new Janemba. Um, because as I said, I love the character. I love the design of the of the character itself. I don't love the design of the unit. That's my opinion. Um. He's still good though, of course. <laughs> He's still a good unit. He's a new Dogon Fest unit. He's still good. He just could have been better. I think I've said that enough times though. I think you guys get my perspective on it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Janemba. What is your final verdict? <clears throat> what is your final verdict on him after having used him or just having seen him perform in various videos out there? And uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like, 
the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.